after my last video of setting up Sparrow Wallet to receive Bitcoin ordinals, I had some requests for how to send Bitcoin ordinals safely using Sparrow to make sure that you don't accidentally send the ordinal. Um, and so I'm gonna do a video today with two examples of sending and inscriptions. And also I'm gonna be using my a ledger. So um, you, this works for sent using other hardware wallets. It also works if you're doing this from a software wallet without a ledger or Trezor. Um, and if you're using a Trezor, it's really not gonna be any different besides the signing piece. It will, you'll sign with the Trezor instead of the ledger. So on Sparrow, this is my demo wallet. I'm going to go to the UTXOs tab here on the, the left side. And so here I have three different UTXOs. So you can kind of think of like a UTXO almost like a bill. So I have like one bill here, another bill, like a dollar bill here, another bill here. And I know that these are these two are my inscriptions because I labeled them here. But if you're not sure, if you don't have any labels, um, Sparrow does usually make you label it. But if you're not sure, and it, or even just to double check, you can right click the output, copy the transaction output, and then go to ordinals.com and paste it in here. And so this example is this cool photograph that I purchased from an artist, Calibrius. I just thought it was really cool. Um, so I went ahead and I purchased it. Um, so I'm gonna double check and see that's this one. Now, if I wasn't planning to send it, I might freeze it. And this is another way to protect sending your inscriptions. For this example, I'm gonna unfreeze it. I'm gonna just double check this one so you could see. And this one is just um, a Bitcoin flower that I've been using kind of for, for examples. All right, so here this one is a flower. I've got it labeled. And here I have the Calibrius labeled as well. So um, I'm gonna send, first I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna freeze this just to, for the example. Um, this is just some regular Bitcoin in this and that will come in for the next example. So. To send the flower, I can see there's 10,000 sats. It's basically a fully loaded uh, ordinal. So I'm just going to select the one, and I'm going to, again, I'm in the UTXOs tab. I'm not in the send tab. I'm not in the transaction tab. I'm in this UTXOs tab. I'm just sending this one selected. And so now I need to send it to another address here. And so I'm going to go to DZ Place which is a cool little marketplace slash wallet. I'm going to go to my Unisat. And now I'm going to copy my address to the clipboard. So I'm going to go back to Sparrow, paste it in here, and I'm going to label this as being sent to Unisat. So remember, this one had 10,000 sats in it. Um, and now when I am sending it, it's going to take some off the top. And, and I know in an inscription, um, you can double check, but if the offset, if the offset zero, that means that you know that that's the that is the first sat in the UTXO. So you don't have to worry about it coming off the top. Um, it's it's good to go as long as you're just sending this one single UTXO, and you can check that here in this graph. There's one input here. Um, I always, before I send, I always check the mempool just to see what's going on. Looks like 11 sats gets me in the next block. So I'm going to go ahead back to Sparrow and make sure I set it to 11 sats. That's just because I'm in a hurry for this video. So it's going to take a little bit more off the top, but that's fine. And so I have one input and then one out output here, the Unisat wallet with a fee. So this is this way I know it's going to Unisat. It's not going to uh, be spent because the offset is zero. And I'm going to go ahead and finalize the transaction for signing. And so I'm signing it. Hit sign with my ledger. Oh no, invalid status. Let's see if I restart it, if that fixes it. All right, I had a little issue. I just had to update the firmware on my ledger. So I went ahead and did that through Ledger Live. And let's see if it works now. All 
All right, here we go. So now it's showing me, I'm checking to make sure all the addresses are good. Confirming. Accept and send. So this is all done on the ledger itself. It's signed, and now I broadcast this from my node. So I'll go ahead and broadcast this. I can check the status of this transaction by pasting in here. Oops. There we go. And it's a couple blocks back, so I'll go ahead and pause the video. Um, since since it took me a moment to get that ledger firmware issue uh, worked out, um, a block has not been found, and now the uh, the fee to get in the next block is 12 sats v byte. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just pause the video while we wait. For so now I'm gonna go ahead, and now that the block has been confirmed, I'm gonna go ahead and check my Unisat wallet. And here you can see is the flower that I just sent is now showing up in my Unisat wallet. And if I refresh, then I can see it's that same address that I sent to before. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do the same thing using my ledger. I'm gonna go back to the UTXOs tab. I'm gonna see, oh, that Bitcoin flower is gone. And now I just have this inscription, and then this is just some Bitcoin that I sent, I added to this wallet as a way to top it off um, and add sats to this UTXO. So at a certain limit in Taproot, I think it's a little bit less, but 546 sats is the minimum amount of, of Bitcoin you can send on chain. It's called the dust limit. So here it's not quite at the dust limit. Um, it's still 5,000, even if I were to just send this one with the fee. Let's go back and get my Unisat address. So even with the fee, it's still not at the dust limit. But for this example, I am going to top it off. So. Typically, when you make an inscription, it, it's at about 10,000 sats. Um, I've sent this one around a couple times, so it's only at 5,000 sats. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this UTXO. You can click um, Command and then click another UTXO to send it with. So I'm not going to send both of these together. So this is a little bit more complicated. This is like an advanced send. For example, some inscriptions only had 546 sats when they were created. So you wouldn't even be able to send it without adding sats to it. So I've got both of these selected. And there is a little trick with this. So you're gonna we're going to try this out and see if it works. But I'm going to click Send Selected. You can see there's two UTXOs. I'm going to go ahead and put that address I still have saved in my address bar, label this one. Now, I only want to send 10,000 sats, okay? Um, I'm, I just want to top off that. I'm going to make this inscription be 10,000. Um, and you can already see this is right now the fund inscription, the fund UTXO is on top. I actually want it to be the, the Calibrius. There's currently no way to uh, do that um, manually uh, in Sparrow. So I'm gonna just mess around with the fee a little bit and see if we can change it. So right now I up the fee to about 12. I'll go ahead and check back at mempool. It's at, there was a block about three minutes ago. So it's at seven. So maybe I'll go back and I will reduce that fee a little bit. Again, we've got Calibrius up, up front. I'm sending 10,000 sats. And you can see the first output looks like it's going to be Unisat. So this is the, the tricky part. So now I'm going to create the transaction, I've set the fee. I have my, my receive address. The rest of the Bitcoin will go back to a change address that is made by Sparrow using my private key. So what you want to do here, this is very important, is you want to double check and you want to make sure that this output is your 
ordinals address. And so here, what you can see is this is actually not my ordinals address. This is my change address. And I know that just because I know the ending of my ordinals address. This one is my ordinals address. It says 10,000 sats. So this one would be, would I would accidentally send the inscription back to myself and I would send just 10,000 bit sats uh, to my ordinals address. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna hit X and I'm gonna try to recreate this tra transaction again and hopefully this one changes. And it didn't change. So I need to mess around with this a little bit to see how I can make this change. So maybe what I do is I up the fee and create the transaction. Output zero, let's check, nope. I might drop the fee, depending on if you're in a hurry or not. Nope. Maybe what I can do is I can change the amount. So maybe I'm going to just make it send 8,000 sats at this fee. So this is where people might make a mistake. So this is really important. It took me three or four tries to get to the place where I wanted to, which is output zero, the first output, being the one that is my ordinal's address. That is extremely important. Otherwise, you will accidentally send your ordinal to a change address. You will still likely have access to it, um, but just putting that out, that if I had not actually read that, then I would have accidentally sent my ordinal to a, my change address instead of sending it to the ordinal's address in Unisat like I was trying. So. Now that we are good to go, I'm going to go back to the top, TX, and now I can finalize for sending. And so I'm going to have to log back into my ledger, put my, my pin in. Sign the transaction, it's going to prompt me on my ledger. Accept and send. And now I can broadcast the transaction. Usually this might take a moment. I'm using my own node, so it definitely takes a moment because it's broadcasting over Tor. And now you can see that it is towards the front of the block because I use a, a decent fee. We've had a few blocks in a few minutes. I'll go ahead and pause this for now until the block confirms. Okay, so the block just confirmed, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and check my Unisat wallet, and I should see two inscriptions here, the flower and the Calibrius photo. Perfect. So also I'm going to go back to the inscription page, and before it had that value of 5,000 sats in my first address. So now, oops, I clicked different inscription. Let's go back. I'm going to refresh the page and now you can see I've got my Unisat, my Unisat address as well as the 8,000 sats. So I didn't top it off all the way to 10,000 sats, but I did add some sats to the value of this. When I go back to Sparrow, I should see in my UTXOs tab, now I just have this one last UTXO, which was just the change from that Bitcoin and from that train in the transaction. So at this point, this is just Bitcoin. There's no inscriptions here. I sent both inscriptions that were in the wallet to Unisat. And so now you can see them in my Unisat wallet. So that is sending from Sparrow. I hope that was helpful. We went over both just sending an, an ordinal inscription and then topping up an ordinal inscription using uh, some additional just regular cardinal Bitcoin non-inscribed 
And if you have any questions, drop them in the, in the comments. Happy to help wherever I can.